as I travel this fine planet we have, I like to experience as many things as possible. So today I have ticked off one of my many stereotypical goals off of my bucket list. And that is by having a barbecue on the beach in Sydney, Australia. Yeah! One of my not so stereotypical travel goals in life recently though has been to review as much Virtual Boy stuff as possible in as many continents and bizarre locations that I can. I started this escapade by looking at the hardware itself at the Grand Canyon in Arizona, USA. Then I popped back to England and looked at Mario Clash at Colchester Castle. After that, I visited the Truth Sanctuary in Thailand and took an in-depth look at hyperfighting. And today in Australia, I once again want to go where no game reviewer has been before. Today, I will become the first man in history to review a Virtual Boy game underwater. Personally, I think it makes a great bloody change to be under the sea. It is absolutely great down here. I like it so much that it makes me want to sing. Under the sea, under the sea, there's no accusations, just friendly crustaceans under the sea. Well, there is just friendly crustaceans for now, but this is Australia after all. So I guess I'd better hurry up and talk about this damn game before I get stung by a jellyfish or eaten by a shark or empowered by a bloody stingray or something. I certainly won't be putting my thumb up any stingrays asses. Anyway, as my YouTube thumbnail would have informed you, today we shall be looking at a homebrew game known as Fishbone, which personally I think juxtapositions absolutely wonderfully with this undersea location. So let me start by telling you how this game came into existence. Something I have yet to touch upon on this channel is the fantastic website Planet Virtual Boy. Planet VB is essentially a great hub where fans from around the world can all share their love and adoration for this niche found Nintendo product. I get a lot of inspiration and facts from my Virtual Boy videos by simply perusing this website. Personally, I think there is just something magical about this piece of hardware. The system's quirkiness and innovation wasn't matched for a long time, and the short period over of which this product was on the market just adds to this platform's mystique for me. Many people who use Planet VB share similar sentiments regarding the Virtual Boy, and many people love the product so much that there is now a great little homebrew community. Worldwide, they may have only have ever been 22 licensed games ever released, but thanks to this community, there is an abundance of fan games now in existence too. The community have even released a Virtual Boy Flash cartridge known as the Flash Boy, which can be used to run many of these games on a cartridge using the actual Virtual Boy hardware. Pretty amazing, eh? One of the many games you can play using the Flash Boy is obviously Fishbone, the subject of this very video. Fishbone was created by a German homebrew developer who goes by the alias of Thunderstruck. Apart from Fishbone, Thunderstruck has developed a number of pieces of Virtual Boy homebrew software. Amongst this man's accolades include the first Virtual Boy rhythm game known as Game Hero, which is a clone of Guitar Hero featuring 24 different video game theme songs, Mario Combat, which is a first person shooter game reminiscent of Yoshi Safari, and an impressive Virtual Boy demo conversion of Hideo Kojima's cult classic Snatcher. Every image in the game is converted to stereoscopic 3D for the Virtual Boy, and the port features a dynamic dialogue system, PCM music and sound effects. Also a dynamic inventory system that reacts to people in the room and more. Thunderstruck intends to carry on working on this Snatcher game until it is fully completed. Unlike the Snatcher conversion, Fishbone on the other hand is a fully completed game. In Fishbone you play as a fish called Bubbles and go for high scores in a total of 4 levels by eating as many smaller fish as you can, whilst avoiding the ones that are bigger than you along with other obstacles such as bombs and so forth. This impressive little game features 16 different enemy types, 3 different victim types, 5 different attack patterns, 8 different music tracks and each stage consists of 51 unique screens which were created using a level editor that has been programmed from scratch. Fishbone features 4 different stages. 
each of which you can choose to play by accessing the select screen at the beginning of the game. Every one of these stages has a unique feel to it and features different sized enemies with different attack patterns. Each of the four uniquely themed stages stand apart and all look different enough to stand out, despite the limitations of the Virtual Boy's simple red and black display. Perhaps my favourite of these four stages is the level named Super Fish World, which is clearly a homage to Super Mario World. The background in this stage matches that of the underwater levels from the Mario World game on the SNES. All of the enemies in this stage are various aquatic wildlife from the game too. This theme is all tied up nicely with the classic underwater theme from the original Super Mario Bros. game. Overall, a charming level within a charming game. Graphically, the game is well animated and the playable character Bubbles the Fish is disturbingly amusing to watch as he chomps through his victims throughout the stages. After you consume other fish, it is oddly satisfying to see your victim's bones tumble towards the ocean bed. The enemy and victim sprites are also animated well enough to display charm and character. There is visible movement in the fish's tails and some enemies are so detailed that even their eyes are animated. The stage named Revenge of the Fish is particularly interesting as you get pursued by a giant sea creature, narrowing the playfield and creating a greater sense of urgency when playing. In terms of playing Fishbone, the gameplay itself is very basic, however it is a lot of fun nonetheless. You choose one of four levels to play and chomp your way through the stages of your choice. The game auto scrolls as you dodge enemies and devour your victims and this process continues until you eventually slip up and make contact with one of your enemies. Playing as a fish consuming other fish actually reminded me a lot of playing Evo Search for Eden which is in fact another game I considered reviewing under the sea. The aim of the game is to survive this process for as long as possible and you gain points based on the amount of victims consumed. So overall, the game is just about beating your previously achieved scores, like in an old school arcade or Atari game. This formula has made somewhat of a comeback in recent years with popular phone apps such as Flappy Birds, so you could argue that this style of gaming is suitable for all ages. Personally, I think the best way to indulge in such a game is to play it with a friend, as you can compete against each other in a game of one-upmanship trying to beat each other's scores. If I had any friends myself, I would certainly be playing Fishbones with them. To summarise, Fishbone is a charming little game, and in my opinion one of the best homebrew games on the Virtual Boy platform. There are various ways available to experience this game. The easiest would be to use the Virtual Boy emulator on the PC, however for more upmarket gaming connoisseurs, you could play the game on the actual hardware using the Flash Boy, or for the real high rollers out there, you could track down one of the physical copies on eBay which was produced of the game. Anyway, overall there are a number of ways you could play this game, and you should all be thankful to Thunderstruck and the Planet Virtual Boy community for helping to keep this underappreciated piece of hardware alive. Thank you for watching today's video. Today you witness history, watching the first ever underwater, underwater Virtual Boy game review. I hope if you are new, you subscribe and return to my channel next week for more fun and frolics. Shout outs to Jarrett Tolzian, Mad Ape Productions, Andreas Larson, Pizza Dawn, Mike Frost, Edward O'Reilly, Andrew Bazanski, and all of my other patrons. Thank you for all of your support. Yeah! If you want to get added to this prestigious list of patrons and back my channel, then check out my Patreon page. Ta-ta and farewell.